Hello, Pestilence here, and time is running short. i got to hurry up before the washing machine starts going again. <sighs> okay, uh, what am I doing? Well, I'm going to do uh, some electrolysis on two padlocks. Okay, and there's one. Let's see, it's moving, so, okay, that's a D and M. And then that one there, which is a J and N. Uh, I think it's a Jacoby and something or other, or something like that. I'll, I'll tell you in the description. So anyway, I've got these two locks. Very, very rusty. Um, I put them in vine a vinegar bath, and so... Uh, they look even rustier. So, wash the machine. Okay. I'm going to add some Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. That'll make the, the water more conductive to electricity. Uh, I think it may have, uh, the moisture may have made it clump up, but I'll see how much I can get out of here. I'm really not sure how much you're supposed to put in. I'll probably put in several tablespoons full. Uh, that's about, about two tablespoons. I think I want about three tablespoons. Okay. Now what I will do is I will add uh, some warm water to that and get it mixed up and then I will show you once I get everything um, in there. Okay, there we are with the container and the washing soda and the water. So what we need is some steel that can go in there right here. One there and I'll put that one right next to it. And that will be hooked up to the positive and here are the locks and they will be hooked up to the negative and I need to wash off my fingers okay back in a moment Okay, so what we will do now is use this battery charger. Uh, hopefully I won't be needing that. Uh, it's been really, really cold here in Michigan. So I've been trying to start up the car, let it run for at least 10 minutes every day when I'm not going out to do anything. Okay, the black is negative, and that goes to the locks. And what I'm using is uh, some music wire. And then we've got the positive, which is red, 
and that will go to. Come here, you. Oh. Fine. see I do want these making contact okay well what I'll do is uh, I'll reposition that okay so we have the the negative is hooked up to the locks. The positive, which is the red, is hooked up to the sacrificial piece of steel. And it's there. And I don't want the alligator clips um, corroding, and so I'm keeping them well out of the water. Because I do use this for the car battery when it gets really bad outside. So, now all that's left is to have this hooked up. And let's see, it's uh, there's 10 amps and there's 2 amps. Um, I've heard, you know, some people want it to go fast and so they put it on 10. Other people say low and slow and put it on 2. You know, I'm, I'm not going anywhere, so I'll just put it on 2 amps and let it take its time. Okay, and now all I have to do is uh, plug it in. Okay, it is plugged in, and try to block out the light, overhead light. Uh, you can see bubbles coming off of the metal, and you can see some coming off of the locks. So what will happen is that uh, molecules from the steel will go from the sacrificial steel there to the locks and the rust will come off of the, the locks and go over to the sacrificial steel. And what also is taking place, because the water is has been made conductive for electricity, is that uh, it's giving off oxygen and it should be giving off uh, hydrogen as well, you know, H2O. And basically, we're, we're taking care of the two uh, pieces of metal along with uh, splitting the water. But it's not enough to, to really do any harm. Uh, just don't smoke around it, I guess. So, there we go, and I will check back on that. Eh, probably in 24 hours, because I'm going to let this run probably two or three days since I'm going really slow, and we'll see how things are progressing. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay legal. Bye. Hello, Pestilence here with an update on the locks. I'll try to get uh, some close-ups without getting zapped. And uh, trying to get the uh, keep the light from bouncing off the water. I think that these have been in here long enough, and so what I'm going to do is uh, turn off the charger and then clean them up and see how they are. I uh, will show you that at a later date. Stay tuned. Okay, these are the two locks. After many days of electrolysis, what I need to do is to uh, take uh, some steel wool and go over them. And then we'll see exactly how they look.
the keyhole guard on the J and N uh, was frozen and locked in place, and it still is. So I don't know if uh, if I will be able to do anything with that. That's that's just pretty much stuck in place. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, for some reason, this lock uh, was doing, seemed to be doing a lot better. Now you can see the metal, the new metal underneath black spots. That one seemed to be doing a little better. All right, so I will show you uh, the final results when I get them cleaned up with some steel wool. Stay tuned. Hello, Pestilence here, and I have uh, the results of the electrolysis that I did on two of my locks. Uh, the the DM and company uh, turned out pretty well. And I put some penetrating oil on it. Uh, I don't think that this would, uh, this is frozen in place. So that's not going to be opening. Uh, I'm not sure if these were actually found buried or how they were found, but they were in pretty, pretty rough shape. The J and N did not turn out quite as well, so I could always do um, a separate electrolysis on this. Now what I did when I felt that they had been in there long enough was I took them out and I went over them with steel wool. And I could probably get some of this off if I uh, continued on using the steel wool, which I may do. Uh, the shackle or the uh, the keyhole cover is frozen in place, and I don't believe that anything is going to change that. So here's that. Now I may change my mind and do more electrolysis on the J and N, uh, or I may not. And I just may do some more uh, work with the steel wool. So we will see. I will keep you informed. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay legal. Bye.